Yeah, guys, welcome back to another session on RPA, Robotic Process Automation, RPA Automation anyway, uh, A360. Um, so uh, today we are going to learn app integration command. So by using app integration command, we can read the text from different applications, browsers and surfaces. Uh, let's suppose um, I want to capture some data from Citrix Automation or the client applications or Windows applications or web applications. Um, uh, sometimes uh, uh, automation anywhere capture command or object learning does not support to capture the text from uh, different applications. So in uh, such scenarios, what we can do, we can use uh, app integration command to capture the particular text uh, on the uh, different applications and windows uh, like Citrix automation and thick client based applications. Uh, let's get started. Let's get started. So now, now we are in Automation Anywhere A360 um, homepage. Uh, so in the left hand side, we can see a um, number of uh, uh, comments. Uh, so we can just uh, search by action and we can drag and drop and we can create a bot uh, without any coding knowledge. Uh, so today we are going to focus on app integration command. So let me expand app integration. So here we can see three different options available in the app integration command. Uh, so here you can see capture area, capture scrollable text and capture uh, text of window. So here we can also see the description, extract the text from the specific area of the window. You know, uh, it records some bot version and all, uh, that is fine. And uh, it can uh, capture the scrollable text as well. A few Oh, websites, uh, you know, we can see the scrollable test, uh, those kind of text also we can extract by using this command and uh, extract text of the window. It extract entire text of the particular window. So let's see, let me drag and drop one of each one of the command and let me click on capture area. Uh, so let's, so capture area command uh, is used to capture the particular area text. Uh, let's suppose I want to capture some specific portion in the particular application or browser. I can capture that particular area by using uh, you know, coordinates. So let's get started. And uh, here you can see the properties window and the property session. Uh, we can see uh, different options available like uh, uh, selecting the windows or browsers or applications or variable. And we can also resize the particular window and coordinates here we can see and we can assign the uh, save capture text into a variable. Let's see one by one. So let me select the application and let me refresh uh, to get the all active window titles in the um, VDI. Uh, so here I have uh, uh, IE browser uh, web page. So here I want to capture uh, this content like this website works better in Microsoft Edge. So I want to capture this specific portion from this web application. So let me go to um, Automation Anywhere A360 window and let me choose the particular window title of IE browser. So once you select the IE browser here, you can um, change or modify the window title dynamically. So you can pass the wildcards wherever the content or window title is changing dynamically in a real time processes. Uh, we can, you know, uh, pass the wildcards uh, or else what we can do, we can write a regular expression to handle the dynamic window title changes. Uh, if you have any queries, uh, to write a regular expression or uh, how to pass the wild cards. So please, um, uh, you know, uh, drop a message in the comment session. I'll get back to you. And please subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon. And that's why you'll be notified each, every time when I upload a new lesson or series of uh, uh, training uh, videos on Automation Anywhere, A360, Python, Artificial Intelligence, Microsoft Power Platforms like Microsoft Power Automate, Power BI, Power Automate, Cloud Desktop, everything. So please don't forget to click on subscribe button. And then 
so what we will do so we will uh, if you want to resize the window yes you can resize the window that means you can uh, set the uh, x y coordinates of the particular web application uh, you can maximize the window as well so uh, let me click on capture region so once you click on capture region um, it will navigate to the selected window title so here whatever the area you want to capture so you can just drag drag the mouse to select the rectangular box and once you select the data we need to click on um, a right click option to capture the data let's suppose if you want to cancel you can press the escape button here i want to capture this website works better in post. so once you select the area just click on right click button so then uh, bot is going to analyze and uh, uh, capture the particular text here we can see uh, so automation anywhere a uh, record application is going to capture the particular text from that uh, ie browser here we can also see the preview image as well and coordinates as well and but uh, we are not supposed to use area in the real time processes i mean xy coordinates of uh, width and height we are not supposed to use because uh, it may vary in uh, uat environment production environment and real time processes and if you want to run the we bought in different vdi the screen resolution or xy coordinates may change so be so for better practice we are not supposed to use uh, capture area so uh, what i will do we will assign the output to the prompt assignment variable and let me click on save so i will display the capture area sorry capture text now message box let me drag and drop the message box activity to display the uh, message or let me press f2 and let me select the output variable that is prompt assignment uh, so let me save and let me quickly run the bot Similar way, we can also capture the scrollable text as well as entire application uh, text. We can also capture entire application text instead of using the XY coordinates or height and width. And then we can perform the string operations to extract the specific text from the application. Uh, so the bot is running now. So what is going to capture the specific text like this website works better in Microsoft Edge? Yes. So here we can see the output. Okay. So this website works better in Microsoft Edge. So let me click on close. And let me go to integration command. Let me capture the text from the window. Let me select uh, IE browser and let me choose the same output variable. Let me click on save. So we can also run um, a specific line. Like, let's suppose I want to run from the second line. I don't want to run the first line of code. So what I can do, I can just click on the and I can choose run from here option. And it will run from the second step only. In this scenario, bot is supposed to read the um, IE browser window. So similar way, we can also choose the Citrix automation uh, or different kinds of thick client application text application command so what is going to capture uh, text and the uh, particular web application this is how we can extract the text from the different web applications and uh, uh, client applications dot run successfully 
uh, that's all for today guys i uh, hope you like this video and please uh, subscribe and don't forget to click on bell icon i'm going to upload a series of videos on automation anywhere a360 and i'm going to cover each and every command as well as new features in a360 also i'll also upload a python and excel macros um, programming basic knowledge concepts and microsoft power automate power platform and power automate cloud and desktop videos as well okay uh, so please don't forget to click on subscribe button and subscribe button then you will be notified every time when i upload a new videos or series thank you thank you so much